A general definition of a working team shall be a group of people with different skills and different tasks who work together on a common project, service or goal with a meshing of functions and mutual support. As we would like to go in depth, we can additionally define a team as a plurality in integration, or better explained, a collection of individuals, namely a group, coming together to achieve a specific objective and, at the same time, prone to a progressive integration of psychological bonds and the harmonization of similarities and differences on the workplace. The key point at the base of a working group is therefore the concept of integration, which diverges from the mere interaction in a group. Indeed, it allows the identification of each member to the group and brings about cohesion through the increasing perception of advantages of group membership. Members of a working team rely on each other to get the work done. They have their own roles and share specific responsibilities. Yet, in either case, they coordinate with one another to produce an overall product or set of outcomes. When this interdependence exists, you have a team. Believe it or not, the old saying that goes the whole is greater than the sum of its parts is definitely correct. The diagram below summarizes what has been explained so far. A team's main characteristics can be listed as follows. 1. The purpose, mission or main objective is known and understood by all team members. 2. Communication in team is open, direct and honest. 3. Sufficient leadership is available in the team. 4. There is regular review of how well the team is performing toward achieving its purpose. 5. There is an agreed organizational structure to the team. 6. Adequate resources are available to permit the team to perform its function, including skills, tools, facilities and budgets. 7. Synergy exists, so the team performs in a way that is greater than the sum of its parts. We will then thoroughly go through the team's characteristics in the following lectures. It's important, though, to underline that the development process of a group into an integrated working group runs through intermediary phases, particularly the transit through cohesion, interdependence and negotiation help translating a mere group of people into a potential and successful working team.